Hello guys, Saul here and welcome to Shexel Tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at the Shexel Audit Program. Now, the Shexel Audit Program is a unique tool for tracking audits on business processes over a given time frame. Now, the time frame that has been set for this template is one year. Now, the advantage of using this tool is that users are able to demonstrate that, you know, they have all their audit programs under control and they've actually set the roadmap for ensuring continuous improvement. So users are able to track various types of audits, whether compliance audits, you know, incident-based audits, follow-up audits, and various types of internal audits as per the ISO standard. So without wasting time, let's get straight into the features. So like most of our templates, we have a table of content right here where users can use to navigate within the workbook. And we have the approved list, and this is where users must set their own parameters as far as the business processes are concerned. So they must provide the list of business processes and the types of audits they need to carry out on those processes. Now we have the audit status here as open and closed, that's already been provided. And we have the starting date of the year 2022. Now this template has been designed for a one year time frame. All right, so there's a one year calendar in there. So for every year you need to set the calendar, you need to revise it by providing the, the starting date of the year. So it means that you're gonna have this template, you need to create another copy of it for the following year. Now the source data is the main audit program and this is where you do all your planning of the audit. So you just provide the, you know, you select the key processes from the drop down list, just take a note of it, that's it right there. You click on the drop down list and you select the process. You do the same thing for the type of audit and provide a start date and a finish date and that will automatically set the duration. And then the days due to the start date will start, you know, counting for you to, it's going to be tracked for you. And once you have carried out the audit, you need to indicate as closed and provide the audit reference number. Now, as you provide the start and finish date, they get populated on the calendar for you so that you can actually track it here. Now, take note that after you've built your database and you have everything tracked and you are executing them and closing them out, you need to come to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all. All right. So refresh all will update the report. Now on the dashboard, you have the number of planned audits for the various types of audits. And then we have the audit completion status, how many audits have been are open and how many have been closed for the various processes. And again, we have the percentage completion, all right? So in terms of the number of processes that we are auditing, we have 11 processes and we've actually closed three audits. So we have the percentage completion showing as 27%. Now over here is the audit days due for the various processes. And here we have the duration that have been set for the various processes. So this is the slicer we can actually drill down on the dashboard. Now take note, we have a Gantt chart in here. Now this Gantt chart is coming from the source data to provide your start and finish date. You're gonna have this duration being tracked for you on the Gantt chart, all right? Now all these are reports that we used for designing the dashboard. So it's the same thing that you'll be seeing here, number of plan audits and all the various processes. So number of plan audits, plan audit duration for the various processes. We have audit due days for the various processes and then the audit completion status. So that's what this template is all about. It's just um, for the purpose of planning your audits and carrying them out and updating it as closed. Um, and then you're able to measure the progress that you're making as far as the audit program is concerned. So regarding how to use this template, that's very, very simple. Just take note, you need to provide your list of business processes, the list of audits you want to carry out and make sure that you set the starting dates, right? Based on the year in perspective. So if you're entering into 2023, you want to set the starting date of 2023, which is January 21st of January 2023. And that will automatically set the calendar. So let's assume that we are in 2023. So all we need to do is just set the current calendar. We just, you know, provide the starting date and then the year and when we come. Okay, before I do that, just let's go to the calendar and look at what is the current date on the calendar. All right, so if I go, if I go to the calendar, just take note, the calendar starts from um, you know, Sunday, which is 1st of January 2022, all right? I think Saturday, all right? So the Saturday, Sunday, and goes on and on like that. So this calendar is dynamically determined based on what you enter here, all right? So we provide a new calendar date for 2023, and we come here on the source data, you see that it has now changed to January, 1st of January 2023, all right? So what we need to do now is to make sure that we set the timelines, right? Because I want to work with the same data, but then before that, just take note that you need to provide your own data. So you just have to delete this. And once you delete, come to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all. And that's, that's going to clear all the reports within the 
the template all right but let's bring back our data because we don't want to waste time trying to populate a new set of data now we have set the calendar to 2023 we need to update this timelines as well all right so without wasting time let me get into it and i'll be back shortly All right, so right now that we have the, the timelines updated to 2023, as you can see, everything now looks pretty cool on the calendar as we are showing the various days that you're carrying out those audits and the duration has been set right, all right? Now let's assume that some of the audits have been really closed out and we update them with their respective audit reports. All we need to do is just go to the data tab on the menu and we click on refresh all. So as we refresh all, you see that the percentage Completion rate has now increased to 64% and we have everything updating accordingly, all right? So um, basically, what that's what this template does. It helps you to see how you're progressing with your audit program. Now, regarding the dash, the GAN chart, just take note that you have to go an extra mile to fix the GAN chart. Now, this is based on 2022, you know, dates, and we need to change it to 2023. Now, this is based on this minimum and maximum value. The date, the minimum date within the timeline or within the start date, we would have to set it in the GAN chart. So these are the minimum and the maximum access. We need to set them. So we've already worked out the calculation for the minimum date and we've added 364 days to the minimum date and it gives us a maximum date. All right. So these are dates in numerical terms. All right. So of course, Excel changes the date i mean the excel date are all numbers except that you need to change the date format to see it as as date but however it is showing as number format all right so we go to the, the axis here we click on this right click we come to format axis and that is the right there minimum and maximum values we need to make sure that we are entering this value so 44927 so we just change it to 44927 and then the maximum value is 452 nine one right four five two nine one and hit enter so there you have it on the gun chart we've revised we've, we've fixed the gun chart because every time you change the timeline you need to fix the gun chart and to fix the gun chart all you need to do is just right click on the axis this horizontal axis click on it right click come to format axis and set the minimum and maximum values and there you have it right there the minimum and maximum values are provided to you automatically because we've done the calculations already all you need to do is just enter the minimum value and then the maximum value all right so i hope you find this template very, very useful especially when you want to track all these various audits you can actually plan audits on vendors right so it could be procurement on procurement you need to i mean you can have various types of audits so this is just you know some dummy data we've provided and how you can actually use this tool right so you can adapt it to your need for any specific purpose you want to use it you can always get in touch and we look into it and we customize it for you all right so thank you all for your attention and meet again soon in another video bye for now